The Ospreys are back in action this weekend when they travel to Italy on Saturday afternoon to face Benetton Treviso in the Pro 12. Join us now as we look ahead to the game in the company of Brendan Leonard and Josh Matavesi. Brendan, no action last weekend, but we're back at it. I wait to Treviso on Saturday. It's been a disappointing start to the season, no from three, but the vibe and sensing is pretty good in training this week. Yeah, d has been disappointing, and I know it's been uh, sort of a stop start the start of the season. Sort of game on and a couple of weeks off and game on another week off, so it's nice to, I guess, it's almost like we've started the season again now that we've got uh, games sort of coming up each weekend, and I just say Treviso this weekend is uh, it's exciting to go over there and hopefully play some rugby. It's a tough one. They're quite lucky to get some of their international contingent back following Italy's exit from the World Cup. We'll carry on soldering on as we are, but it's a good challenge for boys like yourself to raise the youngsters after the disappointment of Edinburgh. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's uh, they may have players back on, they may not. It's I think this week's more about us and about us improving our game and. We want to use the ball a bit more and, <clears throat> I guess, show what we can do. So what has the message been from the coaches in the build-up to this game then? Is it about going out and just showing what we are capable of and what we can do? Yeah, I think very much so. It's, uh, it's, it's been a disappointing start to the season. I think it's just more a case of getting excited about playing rugby and um, going over there knowing it's going to be a tough challenge. It's always, you know, I've always battled playing Treviso over the last couple of years with Zebra, so it's no Ospreys have as well, so it's um, a good challenge for the young players and <clears throat> hopefully we can um, talk up our first win. Results aside, how has the first month of the season been for you as an Osprey, you know, having moved over in the summer? It's been good, like I thought we've trained very well, um, unfortunately just hasn't transferred to the field as yet, so um, I've enjoyed my time here settling in and the training and the weeks have been, um, as I say, been, I've been pretty impressive with all the players and their school level. Unfortunately, we just haven't uh, quite been able to get the results on the field that we, I think we deserve. So hopefully we train well again this week and hopefully we can put something on the field that we can be proud of. As one of the more experienced players in the squad with so many players away, I suppose you might be new to the Ospreys, but there's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders to lead by example. I guess there is, yeah. I know there's a lot of um, young but <clears throat> good leaders in the side. I mean, I know they're young by age, but they're impressing me with their leadership abilities. So. I don't think we're lacking, we're obviously missing a lot of star players, but um, I don't think that's been too much of a problem as, as such. The young players have been playing pretty well and, and showing good leadership, so again, hopefully we can just take what we do during the week onto the weekend. It's about being consistent day by day and just building step by step. Yeah, I think we've been doing that, as I say, Monday to Friday, and unfortunately just the weekend um, we haven't been able to transfer it, so... Um, <clears throat> You know, hopefully the, the way trip to Italy will, will so hopefully bring bring out the best. The next home game for the Ospreys is against Connaught on Saturday the 24th of October. You can watch a game in style from one of our 8 or 10 seated executive boxes, with prices started from just £65 per person plus VAT. With panoramic views of the pitch and a player Q&A pre-match, all box holders can enjoy a special experience to remember. For more details call our hospitality team now on 01792 616 507. Don't forget, if you have a Rugby World Cup ticket for any match in the competition, and you can purchase a ticket for the Connacht game at half price. To redeem the offer, all you need to do is show your Rugby World Cup ticket at the ticket office at the time of purchase, and you can be watching the Ospreys versus Connacht for just £10. Josh, welcome back to the Ospreys. It's been a while. Um, you've been Pacific Nations champion, been to the World Cup, and signed a contract since we last spoke to you. Yeah, I've been busy. Uh, it's nice to be back to uh, normality and uh, you know, hopefully get, get them back into winning ways. What's the verdict on the World Cup from a Fijian point of view and from a Josh Matavesi point of view? 
No, it was a really good experience. Um, you know, we pushed. We had three big teams in 13 days, and you know, there's always going to be a big ask. But um, no, I'm a lot better for the experience that I've had, and um, I'm grateful for the opportunity that you know that they gave me. The backland us, you know, focuses straight back onto yeah. the Pro 12 and a difficult trip to Treviso. Uh, what's the thoughts on that process? Probably just you know making sure our uh, performance improves um, from you know the last couple of games, and uh, just you know making sure that try and get over the line and score some tries. Straight back into training, no, no easing in period. Sandy's got you working hard, no doubt. Yeah, I had a, had a day off and then straight back in on Friday, so no, that's the way I wanted it. I just wanted to come straight back in and get straight, straight back into the mix, and uh, it's worked out, you know, worked out well for me. And obviously, you put pen to paper on a new contract, you're going to be here for another three years. You must be pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm, you know, first and foremost, the kids are happy, so um, it's a pretty easy decision after um, just making sure everything was right and uh, that my family were happy, so it was a pretty easy decision. After a career where you moved around quite a lot, you know, Exeter, France, yeah. back to Worcester, settled, come to the Ospreys, you're pretty settled and this is where you can call home now. Yeah, you know, I'm really happy with the, with the way last season went, but um, you know, you can't rest on you know, what you did last year, so I'm really looking to improve this year and you know, help bring up the youngsters uh, as well, people like Owen Watkins, Alan Jenkins, you know, helping them improve, so I'm um, enjoying it. With the first priority being improved performance for the team and get the showing the road a little bit belatedly this season. Yeah, um, you know, that's that's why I wanted to come back and straight into it, just help the boys out as much as I can and help bring a little bit something a little bit different to you know to the team and I'm looking forward to uh, to getting back onto the pitch if I'm picked on Friday uh, Saturday. That's all for this week. Don't forget the Ospreys return to the Liberty Stadium on Saturday the 24th of October when they face Connaught on a 1.30pm kickoff. Tickets for that game are on sale now from all the usual sources. Make sure you get yours and come along and support the cause. Yeah.